Yo, hi everyone. Uh, it's Andrew here, and uh, I'm going to be doing my first uh, talking face to face with the camera kind of video. I, I don't usually do it because, uh, you know, I'm kind of self conscious of my hair. Shit. What's it like to be a sales assistant? or a retail assistant or, or whatever you want to call it. You know when you go to a shopping mall and uh, you, 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 know, you just walk into a shop, any, any retail shop, suddenly someone starts following you uh, with a calculator in his hand and uh, he'll be like trailing you like a shadow, breathing down your neck. Oh, don't mind me, I, I, I'm just gonna follow you around. If, if there's anything, just, just, uh, just keep looking around, pretend I'm not here. Yeah, I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people who gives you those awkward stares, follows you around like a shadow and breathes down your neck. I'm a sales assistant. Oh yeah. Um, I work in Universal Traveler. We specialize in winter wear. It's freaking cold, man. Being a sales assistant, I've got to do several compulsory things. Uh, number one, number one, I've got to greet the customer. Welcome! Number two, I've got to trail him around the shop like a shadow. I see you. And number three, regardless of whether he buys anything or not, I gotta thank him. Thank you! And besides that, you get to meet a whole range of different customers, many different types of customers. In fact, being a sales assistant has like really opened my eyes to the, the, the variety, the immense variety of uh, uh, the different human personalities out there. I've got a few examples. Let me show you some of that variety. There are customers who ask a ton of questions. Which jacket should I buy? What kind of material is it made of? How much do I have to pay for it? Uh, is, there, is, there a, is there a discount? Um, are you still single? Then there are really those type of customers who know exactly what they want. Yes. That one. I want that one. Sell it to me! And then there are really uh, those customers which I deem as the super money conscious customers. Really ah? Uh, is, that, is that your best offer ah? Uh? 10 cent uh? So expensive ah! Uh? Can give me a discount or not? Can give me more discount or not? 5 cent lah! That thing is worth 5 cent you know! For my case, because uh, I can't speak Chinese, yes, I'm a banana, yeah, now you know, right? And so when uh, my Chinese customers come in and they start speaking Ching Chong Chang to me, I tell them um, I can't speak Chinese and uh, they'll be like uh, Oh Andrew, you banana, you, you banana What? You don't like banana? Well, f you Okay, and, and finally, you know on highways we have something called touch and go and smart tag Those kind of things at, toll, uh, at tolls Where you have this uh, special card that allows you to just, you know automatically pay the toll guy and you, he'll let you go. Well, we have touch and go and smart tag in the sales department as well. Uh, touch and go and smart tag in other terms are those kind of people who, don't, who, don't, who are not intending to buy any item in your shop but are just surveying and uh, once in a while they touch stuff and that's why we call them touch and go because they touch and then they go. The smart tag, well, because uh, they're so smart, they don't have to touch it, they just look at it and they think they know everything. And then they just go. So they're both essentially the same thing. It's just one of them is rubbering the item and another one's not. Oh, oh really? I know, no, no, you don't have to serve me. I, I, I'm, I'm just looking around, that's all. I, uh, I'm so old. And I, have a, and I have a colleague of mine in the same shop. He met a, 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 a Westerner, I think, a European, if I'm not mistaken. And the European was all like, uh, I'll be back. I, I'm just gonna go and um, eat first and uh, uh, I'll come back later. Yeah. And my colleague was like just left standing there at the shop waiting. The fella never came back. Well, different people have different tastes. Some people think that being a retail assistant is pure shit. You just wait in the shop for hours. Your feet is like literally turning to jelly on the spot. You can barely stand. You'll yawn a, 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 an infinite amount of times. You'll just be waiting for some, that lucky moment when a customer like, just waltzes into your store and you get to trail him like a shadow. You listen to crappy, boring shopping mall music over and over and over the entire day and you can't do shit about it. And you're paid peanuts. Where's that bag of peanuts? I left it somewhere here. I was just kidding about that last part. On the flip side, you get to socialize with your colleagues, you get to get work experience, you get to meet new people, you get to broaden your perspective on the world, um, you get to look like a boss. Yo, shop at Universal Traveler. And as for me, well,
shit. The zipper is stuck. The zipper is stuck. The zipper is stuck. All right, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't have much time left. And that's it for my first, uh, you know, video log or whatever you call this thing, face-to-face -face camera video or whatever. Don't forget to comment and uh, like my video. Uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, then don't don't dislike it. Just just walk away. Uh, thanks, guys.